Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's maths lesson, we're taking a look at converting lengths. Our walt for today is to be able to convert between centimetres and metres. But first, let's warm up. Can you fill in the blanks below on these different measurement questions? Pause the video and give it a try. Well, how did you get on? Hopefully, you remembered all of those length facts from the last lesson. They are going to be very important today. So let's quickly take a recap look at them. So remember, 100 centimeters is equal to one meter and 1000 meters is equal to one kilometer. We're going to be focusing in on this relationship fact today. So it's extremely important that you remember 100 centimeters equals one meter. So you remember from our waltz that today we are trying to convert between different lengths of measurement. What does that word convert mean? Have you ever heard it before? in maths or in any other situation? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, to convert means to change. You might have heard somebody who is converting their garage into a room, or maybe they're converting the attic into another bedroom. In maths, converting means changing measurements from one unit to another. Today we're going to be looking at how to convert centimeters into meters and how to convert meters back into centimeters. Let's start off by changing meters into centimeters. Have a look at the examples below. All of these are correct. Can you figure out what the rule for changing meters into centimeters is from the examples below? See if you can figure out what the same pattern in each of the questions is. Pause the video and have a closer look. Well, if you have a very sharp eye, you might have noticed that to convert meters to centimeters, we need to multiply by 100. That is because of that really important relationship fact we learned before. 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So that's our rule. Multiply by 100. So if we had five meters and we wanted to change it into centimeters, now that you know the rule, how many centimeters would it be equal to? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, if we multiply five by 100, like we have to for this rule, then we're going to get 500 centimeters. Okay, time for you to practice changing some meters into centimeters. I'm gonna leave these on the screen to help you with these conversions. When you're ready, pause the video and convert all of these meters into centimeters by using the rule multiply by 100. Off you go. Let's see how you got on. These are the answers that you should have got. Four meters is equal to 400 centimeters. Eight meters is equal to 800 centimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, 12 meters is equal to 1,200 centimeters, and 20 meters is equal to 2,000 centimeters. So that's the easy part, when we have simple numbers like 3 meters or 4 meters. But what do we do if we have a number like this? These are decimal numbers. To make sure that we can convert this kind of length correctly, we have to use our knowledge of place value. When we multiply by 100, 
all of the digits move two places to the left side of the decimal. This happens when we multiply a number like 3 as well. We just don't usually write the decimal on simple numbers like this, but it's still there. It looks like this. So when we want to convert a decimal number like this into centimeters, we still multiply by 100. And the way we do that is we move all of the digits two places to the left side. So now that you know that, can you change 7.50 meters into centimeters for me? Pause the video and give it a try. Well, when we multiply 7.50 by 100, we move everything two places to the left. So our answer is 750 centimeters. Not too bad. Okay, practice time. Try converting these measurements from meters into centimeters by following the same rule we just did together. Pause the video and give them a try. Well, how did you get on? Did you remember to move all the digits two to the left? If you did, these are the answers you should have got. So there we have it. When we want to change meters into centimeters, we multiply by 100. When you're ready, you can try the practice activities down below. If you need to go back and watch parts of this video again, that's absolutely understandable too. This is a tricky part of length and measures. So our waltz for today was to be able to convert between centimeters and meters. Can you do that now? That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.